but defensively it is going to be choke on this defense first. We'll give them a moment to kind of uh, finalize rosters here before they, they come out of spawn. And yes, thank everyone for asking. Comcast did get their their uh, act together. There, uh, there's a long story to that, but I'm not going to share it with you. Yeah, I don't even know that story. I mean, maybe it's uh, for downtime later on. But I, yeah, I just uh, noticed that uh, you haven't roboted at all today. The oh. Inner Hex Roboto is dead, but let's take a look at what is alive here for the defense as they roll out. It's going to be uh, Christopher here on the Reinhardt, Darius on Lucio, Tazak on Zenyatta, Ox going to be on the Roadhog, Chipsa, not Chipsa Jen, but Chipsa, going to be on the Junkrat, and Kissa going to be on the crease. So we have Chipsa and Kissa. Yeah. Lots of A's at the end. Hex, if you shorten your name, you could be there as Hexa. Yeah, only, uh, well, we are in EU. Everyone in EU calls me Hexa. Everyone in NA calls me Hex. It's got to be something with the languages. But uh, yeah, I guess we're, we've been told that Chips Hygen, which we like to call them, like Oxygen, is actually Chips High End. But um, as casters, we get to decide what you're called, and it's Chips Hygen. We generally just call them Chips anyway, oh, yeah. so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, oh, man, the, no. the Swedish names just, I mean, it's, uh, it's they tough. mess with the casting. Because yeah. even when you say them right, everyone in chat is going to say you're saying them wrong. Right. There's no oh, winning. Yeah, so you just kind of, uh, you know, just do it. Just do you man uh forsaken is going to be coming out on that diva too easy of course will be on mccree godspeed on the zenyatta shadowburn of course is on that genji real zx oh my god shadowburn dies with early trap all right reels is coming out as lucio Zaz all right, and well, Zarya. all right well that's a moment where the offense will definitely get delayed here by at least a little bit that was hilarious i was actually over there like watching them roll out too and he he totally screwed up my call well, Chowburn, uh, with his golden shurikens in tow, is going to be coming back in, evaluating the scene, goes for the top uh, high ground to start things out. And defense not really phased. There's a saying in the cafe, Reinhardt protecting it. They're waiting for the offense to make their move, but this could be a mistake, too. They're giving up a lot of room here. You can at least poke the offense a little bit more, and I wonder if they're going to regret this, is now there's two people coming in over the top. They have better positioning here. Reinhardt Shield is going to break, and they don't have a whole lot to show for that Reinhardt Shield game. Broken Shelburne gets into the back line, has a good deflection, and oh my goodness, going to take out McCree from that. Beautiful deflect causing that, and big opportunity now for We United as they're starting to pick this defense apart. Yeah, absolutely rolling in here. There goes the support as well. It is only a Roadhog alive. He is not long for this world. That's absolutely it. Hollywood first looks really hard to hold today. Yeah, teams have not had good defenses here on Hollywood first. Uh, we United certainly didn't on uh, their defense. So I don't know if it's uh, something to do with uh, teams just playing offense better or teams slacking on the defense. But either way, definitely a good look here from We United as uh, they're setting a blazingly fast time here thus far. Yeah, so they've already got some pressure in on the second point. So a second rooftop is going to be the point of contention. Too easy took the slow ride up. He's already on first point as is Banana McCree. Yeah, Banana McCree versus the Gambler McCree right now. Kissa moving forward. The defense being more aggro off of the speed boost, pushing back the offense. No kills coming out, but here comes the Dragon Blade from Shadowburn. The Graviton saying it up. That is a 4K hex as Shadowburn, no mercy, follows through the setup from Zombs. Blink and you miss it, and it's already just uh, wipe the play coming out. And I'll tell you what, hex, we're going to see that on the instant replay for play of the game anyways. If we get to that point. That's true. We, we've, we've been seeing much fewer plays of the match. Oh, Shadowburn right now, uh, looking to go forward. It does not get by a flashbang. Goes for the deflect instead. He dropped the, the diva mech behind uh, the Reinhardt. He didn't notice. He didn't flip around. He just died. <laughs> no. Well, right now, Forsaken and Zom's just piling on right now. Everything going bad. That could go bad for Choke. And they're going to glide to this next point. 619 remaining. They have so much time left here, Hex. They are flying. This is like a hot knife through butter right now. Nothing has slowed them down at all. Shadowburn is going to take positioning on this high ground and left side. Too easy. Also going to creep over there, try to get some poke in, but he thinks better of it. Backs out. You don't want to lose both your DPS over there on poke. So I think if you're going to have Shadowburn poke, that's fine. Too easy is going to come up over the top and continue as McCreepin. So offense right now, a lot of power in their way right now. They can open with Transcendence in the next fight. Defense, though, they do have Dragon Blade and Earth Shatter, so it's pretty evenly matched between the two. Defense is going to make a stand. This is it. Winston leaps in the back line. Here comes Genji falling through. Goes to the back. Looks for too easy. Takes him out. Dash resets now onto the Zarya. Gets the double kill. 
Uh, Shadowburn, meanwhile, was doing the exact same to the back line of Choke. So Genji's getting value all across the board here. Yeah, trade it out, but the offense is in no position to continue this push. Shadowburn would be actually smarter to back out of here. Um, but he does have deflect up, so he feels pretty safe to continue his poke. The offense is going to reinforce now as Too Easy and Reels join the fray. Yep, Rafan's getting back into it. Shadowburn again, just looking to charge his ultimate, get a little bit of Winston poke for good measure. Genji has to be careful against Winston, though. Not the best matchup, as Winston still chases him down, will die for that over-engage. That's a little bit rough, because now the offense has a 65 advantage, and they can push this right back. And they're going to do that. Graviton grabs two right away, sets up Shadowburn. He's just going to dash into the back of them, gets three kills with the aid of his team. And everything coming up, we united right now as they should be able to finish this out. Yeah, they're able to get that shield down, get some more value out of the Deadeye as well. Godspeed takes down chips, so now it is in full panic mode. They're going to have to try to come out just to delay. That's why you see the Tracer here. Grand Blade's going to come out, but this is just a finisher here. Everything will get mopped up. Shadowburn gets a double kill. And decent stall right now coming out at the very least, but it's not something where you can actually win the fight. 418 remaining on the clock at the end. So, again, pretty good time coming out. Yeah, 441, I feel that that was the time they set earlier on Hollywood, or that might have been actually Route 66. Either way, it's a familiar number and a pretty good time coming out from We United. I'm just a little bit astounded by how much Genji's getting played right now. I think it just comes down to the fact that teams want an extra projectile DPS and they're a little bit spurned on Soldier. I think if Soldier didn't get nerfed, you'd see a lot more Soldier coming into play, but seeing Genji in both the offense and the defense, despite how crazy McCree is right now, and Zen for that matter, so good enough Genji players are still making it happen right now. Yeah, I don't think Genji has a terrible matchup against McCree. I mean, you do have Deflect, so it can get you out of uh, a lot of sticky situations. Uh, in general, I'd say it's pretty terrible, because the problem is, is that not only can McCree poke you out from long range when Genji tries to do his normal poking, but good players for the most part are going to be able to land their flashbang more often than not. I mean, it's sort of, at times it can be a guessing game where maybe you hold your deflect long enough, you yeah. flashbang the McCree, but it's rough. It's I'd say it's, if you're the used fighting game terminology, it's at least a 7-3 in favor of McCree. Right, but I think that's still better than most of your other options. <laughs> well, it's better than Pharah, where it's like 10-0 or 9-1 in favor of McCree. I don't think Tracer works really good against McCree either. I mean, it is just an adjustment of we need another DPS who cannot die instantly to McCree because they're going to run a McCree. I, I think it's it's your least worst option, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Very likely. All right, so take a look here at the defense coming out here from the side we united. It's going to be Shadowburn on the Genji. Zoms on Zarya. Too easy on McCree. Forsaken on Reinhardt. Godspeed going to be on the Zenyatta. And Reels going to be on the Lucio. So I, I would say standard, but I guess it's new. But for this meta, it seems to be a somewhat standard comp coming out here from the side we united. Yeah, new standard for sure. Well, defensively, they're going to run um, something a, a little... Um, well, actually, no. Offensively, they're running pretty standard as well as they're going to mix in a Winston and a uh, Genji. That's going to be Chips and Ox. Uh, Christopher is going to run a Reinhardt Kissa on the McCree. Tazik on Lucio. I'm not surprised they're running the Winston or the D.Va, given the bounce change of this patch. Neither team rocking the D.Va right now. Reinhardt, though, charges in very aggressively. Chris going to get punished for that in turn. Kissa, though, working uh, the McCree does pick off Forsaken, so two for two right now. Decent look for the offense, but too easy. Going to turn that back in the defense's favor. Goes in on Kissa, but oh my goodness, he chokes up there. Kissa going to turn it right back. Will get taken out, but not before taking out too easy. Yeah, but everyone does get cleaned up eventually. I don't think it's uh, quick enough on the kills for the offense to really push an advantage here. Zom's going to go forward. He's just completely protected. Got a healing orb and a shield for himself. So a complete reset there. And they need to take this in the next push. Yeah, time-wise, they don't really have a whole lot in the way of time. I mean, maybe if they don't get in this push, they can maybe bring it back, but I tend to agree. I, they do try and go for the Earth Shower. They get charged right back in turn. 5v5 right now between both teams. Kiss is not getting a whole lot off of his Deadeye. And what does ride on Kissa here. He needs to get at least one or two pickoffs, but not going to happen. Shadowburn now gets the pick he looks for. He goes to the back line with the Dragon Blade at the right. He doesn't even need to use it as he flanks the McCree from the back. Yeah, should have been got a reflect kill actually onto the Zenyatta, who discorded him and tried to follow it up and ended up shooting himself in the face. Alrighty, well, you take a look at Shadowburn still holding on to the Dragon Blade. And if he gets Super a big aggressive. Dragon Blade onto the back on the, the next fight, that should be it. Meanwhile, speed Dragon Blades, here comes Chips moving in. Gonna get stymied by the Sound Bearer, though, and 
not the best look here for Dragon Blades on either side. Shadowburn has to run away from Genji, getting to take it out. No one getting sliced down. As are the offense right now making what is perhaps going to be their last stand. Well, you asked why they were running a Winston instead of the Diva, and it's been Ox's task to only kill uh, Shadowburn. He's, he's done it several yeah. times. He's only been hunting him down. So Winston, a, a better alternative to try to kill the opposing Genji. Yeah, Winston against Genji is not a bad matchup for the Winston. Uh, Zom's right now being aggressive, just going to blow Zenyatta right up. And you look at the time, this should be it. Uh, we United going to take map one right away from Choke. Because even if Choke gets us now, they're not going to be able to go from here to the end in two minutes and 20 seconds. That is something that has never been done before. I'm not even sure if it's mathematically possible. So uh, we United hanging in there. Able to get the picks they need. And Choke, they came close in the first offensive round, just didn't quite get it as a kiss egg going to bite the dust. Yeah, they will have map choice for next, but now you, you can definitely tell it's over when a defense starts holding out here. They're, they're completely unafraid of getting wiped up. And a uh, little bit of extra piling on here from defense. Chipsa in the back has too easy right on him, going to get taken out. And that's always rough for a Genji now. This patch, we go to back line, have both McCree and a Zenyatta <laughs> Discord orb on you. Not a lot of hope, but we're going to be going back to lobby, and we will not be seeing a replay of that chip. Actually, yeah, hey, you could just let it. <laughs> right, if we don't let him cap, we get a replay. Yeah, I was gonna say, we'll let time expire, so just so we can see the Shadow Burn uh, 4K, since we didn't get the best view of it the first time around. At least we want you guys to see that, because it was beauty in action. Zarya got the Graviton, Shadow Burn got the fall through. Just slice, 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 right. and they were all dead, so. Well, we mentioned we had some downtime. I'll just, I'll, I want to give credit where it's due, but I don't want to get anyone in trouble. The reason my internet got fixed is because we have a fan who watches our broadcast who works for Comcast. That's, that's as much as I want to say. Uh, very high level person contacted me, said, hey, I heard you're having problems. Let me look into it myself. Looked into it, got it fixed. I mean, that's just good customer service. It is. It was, it was actually, there was a problem with the whole neighborhood. I knew it wasn't just me. And so they're like, oh, wow, this is all going wrong. We'll send out a team. And they got it fixed up. <laughs> they sent that. I'm just imagining the A team in Comcast <laughs> uniforms. We got to fix your internet. If you can find them. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Oh, man, the Gold golden jerkins hit the camera. Yeah. That's great. It's a good looking combo, that skin. Look at that, the Graviton comes right at the bottom, hooks them all in, and just like that, it's over before it begins. Shadow Burn just cleaning everything up. It's a beautiful play of the game. That's, that's just a great skin and golden shuriken combo. Looking good, Shadow Burn. Alrighty, well... We will see what we go to here for the next map. It will be the choice of choke, but uh, we United continuing to look strong here in the tournament today and Ana con continuing not to get played. Yeah, we did see her a little bit earlier, but it did not work out all that well. So it's hard to say where it is. Is Ana weak or do people just not really know how to play her yet or aren't very comfortable with it? I think maybe after another week of people screaming it, we'll actually have a better answer because I've heard people have been screaming it and it's been strong in certain situations. Um, so Ana is definitely being toyed with and tried out. But yeah, so far, I guess teams just aren't super comfortable with it. I guess it's what do you give up in these kind of compositions that we're seeing today? What do you give up to put an on in there? What, what's she going to be doing better than the other team? It's It feels almost like sometimes it's a win more condition. If, if you're in a yeah. situation where you have Ana's ultimate already ready, then you're probably winning the fight and do you really need it? Um, so uh, I don't know. I, she seems to have not found her place so far in these metas today. Well, I think the bigger problem is that she's going up against the newly buffed Zenyatta where you know, think about things for uh, Ana where, okay, let's say you get the maximum value out of Sleep Dart. Is Sleep Dart really comparing super well to Discord and the crazy damage you can do on? And also, don't forget too, Zen is that Zen can do damage while healing at the same time. He can have orb up on someone while dishing out the damage. Ana, by nature of a weapon, has to choose between the two. And I don't know, I, just, I think it's just one of those things where maybe it's just the newly buffed Zen is sort of crowding out Ana a little bit right now. But it's developing. We'll have to see how things go as uh, we go into King's Row. Oh, good old Kings. Um, I wonder if Trash Mouse is going to be still alive on Kings. I hope so. I, th I think he's just so good on this map that it, it broke my heart to not see him. But now with Farah being pretty much unplayable in a lot of situations, I think we could see this Junkrat actually come out from Chips. Played it earlier today, too. 
I would not be surprised. Uh, Chipsa again, not Chipsa Jin, but Chipsa <laughs> has been playing junk right here on first point defense. So we'll see if it works out here for Choke. But that full defense is going to be Ox on the Zarya, Tazak on the Lucio, Christopher on the Reinhardt, Chipsa on Junkrat, Kissa on the McCree, and Darius going to be the Zenyatta uh, to round things out. Okay, I'm going to give offense a moment here. I mean, yeah, there's some good points about Ana as well, that, you know, some teams aren't screaming it because not every tournament is running Ana. Uh, some teams don't believe that so, uh, new tournaments are going to allow Ana at all. So there's been kind of a, a divide on if teams are even going to practice it or allow it in scrims against them, too. Uh, I've heard reports on either side. Now, this offense coming out for Wii United. Too easy, of course, will be on McCree. Zoms is going to play Zarya. Shadowburn on his Genji. Forsaken will run Diva. Reels will be on the Lucio and Godspeed. We'll play Zenyatta. Alrighty, so we go. The starting bell has been rung. And we united now moving forward here on the offense once again. And of course, as mentioned, too easy is probably not gonna be off McCree the entire day. <laughs> no. Laying in shot after shot onto the Reinhardt barrier, and McCree's pretty darn good at that now. It was good at it in the past, good at it once more. Reinhardt has to drop the barrier, and down goes Daria, sniped down from across the map. Zenyatta has to be careful of the McCree, as too easy going really deep off of that. Shadowburn gets a fall through on the Reinhardt. Down goes Lucian, that's going to be three, now four quick kills for the side of We United, and they got the point. And that's the, how quickly McCree can turn a fight right now with that long-range poke. It's insane. Shadowburn dove really deep in the back line. They'll cause some chaos back there, and any sort of chaos is going to be a sniper's delight. That is now McCree's role as well, as that long-range poke is nearly as good as a sniper rifle, able to take that down. Shadowburn already has his alt up, too. I mean, that's a ton Good of job. damage he did. Jailburn uh, does have Dragon Blade at the ready. Gonna have to back up from that emote, does eat the Discord Orb. And for Genji, that's where you do have to respect that part from uh, Zen. If you do get Discord Orb, you have to back out, break line of sight. And here comes the defense moving in very aggressively. Jailburn goes for the Dragon Blade, doesn't get it. Decent engage here from the side of Choke, but look at Too Easy, he got to the back. McCree is unleashed, took out both the enemy McCree and Zenyatta, and he's still looking for more. Stuns out Reinhardt. Oh man, Too Easy just feasting right now in the back line. The power of McCree, ladies and gentlemen, as a payload will continue to move forward. Poor Zenyatta, finally got buffed so that he doesn't have to worry about Widow anymore, and then here comes McCree, just ruining his day in his life. Darius has died twice to too easy so far in this game. It's been his two deaths. Man, he does go down though. Dreas lands the orb from long range. Two kills here from defense. They go with the transcendence. They are pushing We United back here. And We United down up Korea is just like, okay, back out, regroup. We don't want to take this. And you look at their ults. They don't need to take it. They just back up, wait for the Dragon Blade. If they wanted to wait a little bit longer, they could go for the Wombo combo. But historically, Shadowburn hasn't really done that. It seems he's just looked for his own opportunities. Maybe if Zoms gets the Graviton up in just a moment. But I think he's just going to go to backline on his own in just a moment. Here comes Dragon Blade. Looks for Zenyatta. Going to take him out immediately. Slicing and dicing towards the back. Soundbear comes out for the defense, but just a little bit late. They already lost the Zen early on. They still get two kills off of it, though. So it's not completely lost. As a... Uh, we United under a little bit of pressure, the offense or defense able to shrug off that early beginning. Yeah, they, they've actually stabilized, brought it back a little bit. Shadowburn's still trying to get some work done. Is able to take down the Reinhardt. So as they try to reorganize on this offense here, some flanks coming down from the right side. Not getting a ton out of that is Forsaken. Now he's zero suited. Now they come with the Transcendence. I don't know about that Transcendence, if it was really the right move to go there, but it does set up Shadowburn. He does get the double kill. Here comes Dragon Blade out once again. Looking at the back line. There won't be a sound barrier to stop him this time. Get Zen. Looks for Winston. Uh, gonna get charged out by Reinhardt of all people, and suddenly Reinhardt appeal appears. Shoulder tackle at the ready, but still the defense very outnumbered here on the point. That's 3v2, and it's two tanks here. It looks like Christopher is out. He's decided to bail, but he gets shot in the back on his exit. Ox does get beamed down as well before Too Easy puts the final bullet in his head, so this should be second point. And that right now is probably one of the bigger powers of McCree, is that any time a fight is degenerating and you have maybe a 2v3, a 3v4, any sort of situations where it's not full strength versus full strength, and especially when shield tanks are down, McCree just absolutely feasts on the leftovers. He can just finish off wounded people very easily. It doesn't really matter what range you're at. He's effectively firing a railgun right now. But here comes the defensive being aggressive once more, moving into the back line. Chips a, or Kissa trying to deal with the Shadowburn though. Not going to happen is Forsaken and Shadowburn. Their back line dive is successful. They get two kills. Very back and forth here on the cart, but I expect Shadowburn to be able to clutch the rest of this out. 
Yeah, what are the, oh, this Genji is super in the back line. <laughs> yeah, I was guess. There goes yeah, Chips. He... Chips said was on an island there. No more to be said. Here comes the dead eye to zone out. They're not gonna be able to crack this shield in time to actually get anything off of it. Earthshower does come down here from the defense. Kissa oh. able to take out Forsaken. So defense, this is their last gasp. But uh, Winston in the back with the Primal Rage trying to make a little bit of space. And this is working okay. They're biting space for Kessa. He's gotten two kills here thus far. Makes it three kills, takes out Shadowbird. And once again, the fight's breaking down. Kissa on the prowl, not able to take out real uh, just yet though. Getting a little bit juked out, but down goes Lucio. And this is just deadly. You have a Winston in your face and a McCree in the back. Very scary stuff as the offense will stabilize towards the end, but we'll see if the defense regrets going a little bit too ham there. I think uh, Zenyatta's not exactly used to their new speed. He was transcending and moving quickly, then he got speed boosted by Lucio and ended up running off the edge. Well, Dragon Blade now coming from Chips, looking to buy the defense a little bit more time. Doesn't get what he's looking for just yet. Will slice down a discorded Zarya though as uh, Winston gets to the back line, and this should be a full reset now for the offense. I'm not going to really cover off this. Sort of a different uh, feel to team fights here, Hex, as uh, Mercy is not rezzing every two seconds. No, no Mercy's in this game. It is definitely not um, just watch to see which Mercy dies, and that team's going to have the huge advantage. Uh, as I said, this patch has changed everything. The, ga the game feels entirely different right now. Yeah, no longer is, are you looking for the all-important Mercy pick, although I do think we're going to be seeing more Mercy as time goes on. Here comes Deadeye, though, from Kissa. Multiple skulls lighting up. Doesn't quite have anyone that's unshielded, though. This Transcendence coming out. Defense being really hyper-aggressive here. Perhaps too much so. They're going very far in. They do get the enemy McCree, though, and usually that's pretty worth. Look at Chalbert, though. He's sneaking the card in the back. That cap happening. That's always a risk, as Chalbert does get a lot of that. Mo brings out the Dragon Blade, looking to put the team on his back right now. Looking for the other Genji, needs one more slice, takes out Chipsa, lands serious damage onto Winston and Shadowburn, being the hero right now. They pushed so far out, they forgot about the Genji in their back. But too easy is rejoin the fight, and that's going to be it as they cap it out. Yeah, give him 233 uh, remaining on the clock. Godspeed some credit there, too. He transcended with that Dragon Blade, which is a combination, well, we obviously didn't see before because Zenyatta was uh, milk cart in status, but able to keep up with him now with that speed boost and just kept the Dragon Blade completely healthy. It's a combination we might see as both these heroes really re-enter the meta. And yeah, that back line able to clean things up. Decent time. Not great, but decent. Alrighty, well, we are resetting here. Take a look. We'll know what the defense of Reunite will be in just a moment. But Hex, I'll tell you this much. Too easy, probably going to be on the McCree. <laughs> hey, really, really stepping out on a limb there. It's a bold prediction, Hex, <laughs> but I stand by it. Well, I will predict that uh, Kissa will also play McCree. How you like that? All right. Well, bit bold predictions coming out from both casters. We'll see if they hold true. But looking at the defense as it comes out here from the side of We United, it's going to be Zoms here on the Zarya, Forsaken on Reinhardt, Reel's going to be on the Zenyatta, Too Easy on McCree, Godspeed on the Mercy and Shadowburn on the defensive Diva. And I think for the defense at the very least, I still really like running the Mercy on the defense. It's just you don't want to lose a defensive fight just because one or two people get picked early on by an offense, which frankly always has the initiative in uh, setting up how they want to go for fights. Yeah, um, offensively, yeah, Ox is really preferring this Winston. I think that is generally just to deal with uh, the Genji, which is actually not on the side of... Uh, we united just yet, so we'll see if he ends up switching off, or maybe it's just his preference. Uh, Christopher will be on the secondary tank, he will be the Reinhardt. Darius has been playing Zenyatta all day, no change there. Kissa is on that McCree. Chipsa is going to be on the offensive Genji, and Tazak will play the Lucio. Like a man possessed. Yeah, definitely different supports all, right. all over the place today. All right, so the timer has begun. The offense is on the way. They're going to be moving uh, pretty quickly here. Uh, no one falling just yet. Sort of a blitz offense coming out here from the side of Choke. No one going down on either side. Very rare to see an offense be this aggressive, but uh, Winston able to take out Diva in the back. 5v5 right now on the point. Too easy, though. Still completely uncontested in the back. Takes out Chipsa. All damage going to the McCree. And now he's going to move forward. Zen will be in the sights in just a moment. And 
Always rough when you don't get the big Kree in that initial push in. I would say, even though they're running a defensive Mercy Hex, they should be looking to just dive on their Kree every time right now. Yeah, it represents so much of their damage, too. They are running this uh, kind of triple tank as well. You see, maybe at some point you start trying to get a Reaper in here, although I don't know how well it's going to work out, especially a tank like Diva uh, against a McCree, against a Zenyatta, too. You can Wraith out of that Discord, at least. All right, Speed Boost is out here. Offense taking another crack at it right now. Kessa, though, not immediately firing. Was looking for something around the flank, didn't find it. Wasted the flashbang. But still, what, Chips was able to get to it back, got three kills to begin with. They force out the res early, but a lot of people will be coming back up from this res. It's not over just yet. The Graviton pulls in two as we united, trying desperately to pull this right back. Note that Too Easy was not part of that res, so he is out of this fight entirely. Reels with the Transcendence, buying people a little bit more time here on the point. And this fight's been really just weird back and forth. Yeah, uh, I think offense might have enough to take this. They just get a couple kills. There they go. They clean up yep. the rest of the supports. That is going to be a point taken. I'd say the biggest thing there is that uh, Too Easy died a little bit too early to get into the res, and uh, res, I mean, it's great, but if you don't have any damage to follow through after that, it's going to be rough to actually clean up the people right after. Well, we'll see. So we take a Go ahead. We take a look here at the offense uh, as uh, they're setting up here once more time-wise. Still have a decent amount of time left. That 637 is a not the easiest time to beat, but certainly they are on track to beat that if everything goes well for them here in the streets phase. And Lot's going to be riding here on Chipsa as he uh, looks to land the Dragon Blade in the back line. Yeah, holding up this first bend here. Both tanks are up front here. A little bit of a wasted allied shield. Here comes the Diva Bomb in the back. The bomb does go off in the back as, oh no, Chips are getting taken out immediately. Uh, not going to be able to get the Dragon Blade off here as Kissa, though, picking up the slack, takes out both Zenyatta and Reinhardt. Moving forward, gets one big headshot on the Zarya. Going to take out the Zarya as well. Kissa now on a McCree field rampage. Here comes the Deadeye. Down goes too easy. That might be all Choke needs here to get through and uh, get set up here on last. I'm not sure Reunite's going to be able to get back in time. It's going to be close, uh, given that the cart does take a little while to push through. Yeah, he was trying to chase down Godspeed at the end there, as Godspeed does have his resurrection ready. If they were able to take him out before this next fight started, that'd be great. But it looks like they're not even going to try to defend this, no. Nope, uh, they're not defending at all, and uh, there you have it. So, hope still alive here. A little over three minutes still remaining for the side of Choke, and uh, this would be a little bit of an upset if they take this map away from United and force a map three. Yeah, they looked really good so far. Um, comes out the Deadeye from the defense. Is able to take out Winston from that uh, on the defensive Deadeye. Uh, Graviton comes down, uh, gonna set up at least for one more kill. Chips moving to the back line, is Discord Orb going to just fall to his death, but gets taken out by Too Easy first, will not save the ult charge. And this is going to be a full hold here from the side of We United. A little bit over aggressive coming out from the offense, but they've been saving ults too here, Hex. They are going to have Sound Bear and Dragon Blade soon, and they could put an end to this in just a moment. Yeah, it's really smart to be able to bank ults like this, not burning them out there when they know that the fight was lost. I think the last fight was just them trying to get their ults up. They want to burn all these at the same time. Here comes Dragon Blade. Dragon Blade's out for both sides, uh, but Shadowburn not going to get anything done. Meanwhile, Chipsa, will he have more luck, is looking for the Mercy in the back line, loses complete track of the Mercy, in fact. But still, four kills coming out here from the offense. They don't need the initial Mercy pick right away as she goes down anyways. And this is now a danger zone here for the side of We United. Uh, Time-wise, Hex, I still have to hold for over two minutes. Not looking probable as Transcendence, Earth Shatter, and Primal Rage are all up. Now, of course, Ox is not alive for this next fight. Earth Shatter misses. No, it did knock down two still, and he got okay. the immediate charge right after. Two kills being piled on here by the offense, and Hex, they might have this. They get the final few kills from Christopher, and that is going to be it. Barring some real heroics from Too Easy, they are not going to be able to hold this. Too Easy gets sniped down by Kissa, and there you have it. Striking right back Wow, is the side of Choke, and ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a map number three. We're going to Route 66. Yeah, I'm surprised. So, uh, Choke, we did get that tweet earlier in the day saying, hey, they're one of the UK's best teams. Right now, they're showing that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I missed that Earthshatter there at the end, but uh, surprising because Christopher had been playing really well that game. Even from the early on fights, he was hitting charges. I uh, missed an early Earthshatter in, in that matchup, but he was making up for it by just being in good positioning all throughout. Some nice Reinhardt play uh, coming out from him. So we, we've been able to highlight most of the players on this Choke team. They've had all good individual moments. When they put it together, they can beat a team like We United. We'll see if they can actually upset them, send them to the lower bracket in our tournament. Alrighty, so uh, we're just gonna wait here for Route 66 to be punched in, but 
been pretty good here so far from both teams. I expect we'll see uh, what team ends up taking the attack first. Probably we united here again. But uh, either way, I'm uh, going to end on Route 66. And I'll say this, uh, too easy had some really good moments in McCree, but so did Kissa. Kissa had some real heroics in the streets phase to pull that forward, got the 4K, moved forward, and uh, really saved a lot of time for Choke. That was probably game-saving time. And by the way, for those who are wondering, well, gee, how many times are we going to see McCree save the game for teams? A lot. Get used to it. So long as this patch is in play, McCree is going to be doing just McCree things. Welcome to the age of McCree sports. Yeah, we're back. We're back to McCree. McCree sports is a great term. Um, yeah, he was very popular in beta one and beta two, um, especially when no hero limits. Uh, essentially, teams were always running double McCree, just that's how good his kit was. It was generally based on Fan the Hammer back then, but the best McCrees were always the ones hitting their left clicks consistently as well. Now, Fan the Hammer has gone the, the way the dinosaur, pretty much extinct, uh, because at a top level, it's just more efficient to hit your headshots instead. We'll see. Uh, we're headed Route 66. Well, the Overwatch uh, BRB curse continues and wait a second, he's on the toilet. But we've seen this movie before. Usually from Envious and usually it's uh, Internet Hulk calling someone out, but there you have it. Harry Hook on the can. Oh, Harry Hook. He's been posting a lot of videos to uh, the competitive Overwatch, by the way. Him on Lucio, him on 76. I don't know if he's posting them or other people are, but he is. Uh, he's getting quite the following. He has one of the top skill ratings in the game right now, too. I think uh, there was a point where he had the number one overall skill rating, he but he's in uh, top five. Yeah. Good old Nabridge up. Never give up. How far he's come. I mean, he's not just a support player. He's also a ridiculous DPS. Uh, jack of all trades. Normally, you'd say master of done, but master of all, perhaps, yeah. for uh, Chipsogen. Or for, sorry, for Harry Hook right now. is He's been doing great lately. Big part of why Envy has had the success of that, even as much as people like to focus on, say, Tailspin and Taimu. Right. Well, it is going to be we united on this defense in this deciding map on Route 66. And what do you think Too Easy is going to play? Uh, too Easy uh, forecast seems to be McCree. Looking at his teammates, though, it's going to be Zombs on the Roadhog, Godspeed on the Zenyatta, Real is going to be on the Lucio, Forsaken on Reinhardt, and Shadowburn going to be the final piece here on the defensive Genji. So defensive Genji getting a little bit more love, uh, deciding not to opt for the defensive Diva just here on this map. Next, what are we seeing here from the side of the offense? Well, Christopher is going to be playing his Reinhardt, as he did last map as well. Ox will be on the Winston. Tazak will play the Lucio. Chipsa is on Genji. Darius is on the Zenyatta. And Kissa rounding it out as the McCree. So it's going to be monkey business on top of Big Earls. I imagine that's what Ox is going to do immediately. He's probably going to try to get in and get out. If you stay too long as a Winston jumping Big Earls, you will stay there and die there. Uh, the problem for Ox, though, is that he's going to be leaping right into his Zenyatta. And this is the real problem about running Winston here. Even if you think he's better against Genji, is that he's going to get Discord orbed. And how tanky is a Winston after that? Diva at least can really stop herself from taking damage for a while. Winston shield not quite as versatile and let's take a look at Godspeed here because look at this Winston will leap in He's gonna counter immediately the discord or Winston though uh, not leaping in just yet is waiting for an opportunity He might not even leap in we've seen teams just kind of uh Forego even trying to take top of big girls. I'll just push the bottom and wait for the defense to come in But there goes okay, Harry. so he's leaping in right now goes right in, uh, does not get Discord orb right away. In fact, able to avoid it for a while, does eventually get the Discord orb, and oh my goodness, the defense just swarming right in after the Winston leap. Yeah, they, they not only dispatch Winston, but dispatch everyone else in very short orders, so... I don't know. I mean, the Winston actually lived longer than I expected there, but still, I think a little bit rough against them. They lost two before he even leaped in, though. I mean, Darius got taken out by a long-range Peacekeeper. Christopher got hooked and took a ton of damage, was able to get follow-up killed, so they were already fighting 4v6 before he jumped in. Well, offense right now going to get another crack at this here. And again, the real target they need to take out is too easy. You have to get rid of the enemy McCree. Zomzo was able to get the pick he needed onto Lucio. They're already down one player as they leap in. And Winston just not going to be long for this world. Rip Harambe. So, do you see a McCree dead eye in the back? But I mean, at that point, even if you get a few kills there, you're not going to be able to chain it long enough to actually move in. It sort of felt like, a, all right, why not just alt anyways? And I don't, know, I don't really like this offensive team comp coming out right now from the side of Joke. It's just not giving them what they need. 
Yeah, it, it just seems like they don't necessarily have the strategy here. They're, they're running people onto the cart. They put the Reinhardt there alone a couple times, and it's fine. He's getting some progress, but you're not going to be able to get enough. All right, well, Kessel right now uh, moving in here as McCree looking for some pickups, but here comes the defensive sound bearer. Whole hog going to be on the way from Zoms. And again, using that sound bearer as cover, the defense trying to get one or two picks. They're not able to get them, though, so... See if this is going to work out for the offense. So far, survey not very good as Too Easy goes wild over the top, gets one kill, sets up another, and Reinhardt going to be the last to fall here. Is now time wise, only a minute 35 remaining here from Choke. They could very well lose this here before the first point. Yeah, I got the Zenyatta buff on his transcendence has worked out so well for them. Just really keeping Genji's alive. Shadowburn was getting jumped on really, really hard by Ox, and he was able to get out of it and get. Uh, uh, saved by Godspeed flying in over the top on a transcendent Zenyatta. Well, Deadeyes coming out here from Kissa, looking for anything here in the tunnel. Will take out Shadow Burn. Waited just long enough for the deflective fade. Here comes the offensive sound bear. The best look they've had probably all game. Winston leaps in, and even though he's going to get taken out, does do a lot of cleave damage towards the end. Will this be enough to set up Kissa now? As Kissa is looking from the flank. Oh no, he has a great opportunity to take out Zen here. Does not capitalize on that. Instead, looks for the Reinhardt. Reinhardt gonna drop the Earth Shower. Knocks down three. Here comes Forsaken. Not gonna be enough though, as Kiss is still laying in the damage from behind. Zen might be the last to fall here. And here comes Shadowburn. Fresh off the respawn, slices down one, looking for more, gets the double kill. You Lucio, your boops are not enough. A triple this? kill from Shadowburn, trying to keep we united in this, but oh my goodness, one good blade deserves another. Chimpsagen, or Chimpsa, getting two kills <laughs> to turn that right back, so. The offensive choke will live at least a little while longer. I'd say Dragon Blade's pretty good alts. I mean, there's no no good reason that Shadowburn should have used his Dragon Blade there. It was 1v3 for the most part, but then, hey, when, you, when you're getting three kills on it, it works out really well for you. So offense going to keep the dream alive at least for another two minutes. Uh, both sides pretty much ran on ultimate, so the offense is going to have to do this more the old-fashioned way than not. Again, take a look at Zoms here. Zoms just looking for the early pickoff. Roadhog's still a big threat, even though teams do focus on the Kree a little bit more now. That eye coming out from Kissa. No, he takes out Zoms. Zoms did not respect that in the least. Transcend's gonna come out here from the offense to try and deal with the sound bear, but Kissa now under assault from the back. Got the good old McCree versus Genji fight here, and McCree going to live as the offense continues to push forward on the card. A little bit just uh, the fight taking place in the back, in the front, pretty much everywhere right now, but the offense able to hang in there, at least for now. Yeah, big Earth Shatter comes down from Christopher, is able to take down Godspeed as well. Looks like a whole different down Godspeed. Who comes out from Zombs, but he's late to the fight, gonna get Discord Orbed and immediately dispatched. A Discord Orbed Roadhog is not long for this world, especially when a McCree is on the case with headshots, as his payload will continue to move forward. Yeah, comes out way too late. It's been a theme of these last three or four minutes from We United. They've kind of just been bleeding into fights where they have no business showing off, trying to go hero mode on these things, and it's really cost them. Now they have three minutes to finish out the map where it looked like they should have been stopped at first. No, this has been a good job from Choke to sort of come back in, not Choke, and bring this back in their favor. Uh, two minutes, 45 seconds does leave them a lot of time. About three to four pushes left to get last, and... They can get this next fight in their favor, as Ultimate say they should. They're going to be in very good shape here. As they take a look, we have Shadowburn in the back now with the Dragon Blade. Gets effectively two kills with the aid of his team. Make it, makes it four. Dragon Blade DPS just a little bit too much, and there is no Mercy, so there will be no Mercy rest. <laughs> the one thing here, though, is that for the offense, if you're going to get wiped by the defense using all their ults, that was probably the best time, because you look at this here, the respawn is really, really close, and now they can turn the tide with ults of their own. They have their own Sound Bearer Dragon Blade combo, so I think to waste all those ults, not the worst thing for the defense, as they're going to be moving forward here. Here comes the Sound Bearer, here comes the Dragon Blade, chips on, moving to the back line. Too easy in his sights, looking to slice him out, will get that vital McCree kill, moves back to aid his team. Three kills here from the offense, and I think this trade has worked out really well for them, Max. It's gone okay. It's super back and forth. Now they are able to clean up towards the end as Ox is able to cleave down Shadowburn as well. There was super patient play from Kissa there. He was getting hunted down, holding down his high noon. Was able to get a kill towards the end. And yeah, you're absolutely right. They did mop that up towards the end. Forsaken must have gotten a ton of damage done in that fight, though, as he's going to have Earthshatter up. They're going to need it. Yeah, they're going to need the Earthshatter. Too easy, perhaps, to look for the flank Deadeye. But flanking with Deadeye when you're this pushed in, easier said than done. He's just going for the raw Deadeye. Skull's coming up right now, only finding Reinhardt Shield, looking for an opportunity. Just going to crack the Reinhardt Shield instead. And here comes the Dragon Blade from Shadowburn, now looking to the back line once more. 
As Zen insights Zen going to eat the Dragon Blade. So is McCree. A double kill for Shadowburn. Perhaps about to be a triple kill. Doesn't need it as uh, too easy gets a clean up in the back. So this is going to be a hold here from the defense. And everything can come down to this next fight where the offense will have a little bit more on their plate in terms of ultimate text. Yeah, they're going to have everything they need. It's just going to be about execution. So Tazik should be close to getting a sound barrier, depending on what he can do in the next couple of minutes or so. But you can see it, uh, Dragon Blade comboed with Transcendence as well. Earth Shatter is going to be crucial. Yeah, Earth Shatter comes in, does not get what Christopher is looking at all. It doesn't get anything off the charge either. Defense countering with the sound barrier, but they don't get what they're looking for. As Chips off the Dragon Blade picks off two, is right behind the Reinhardt. Reinhardt doomed whichever way he turns, ends up being the Discord Orb. Down goes Forsaken. Sound barrier out here from the offense and Hex. They are in the driver's seat right now. They just need one or two more picks, and they are going to take this point. Not going to be the swiftest time in the world with uh, perhaps about seven to eight seconds remaining, but they should be able to clutch this out. Here comes the Diva to try to stall it out, give their team a chance. Easy trying to get S bomb right now, getting bopped and booped around by this one. Some will take him out with a bullet to the chest. Gets the double kill, and oh my goodness, is the dream going to be alive here? Too easy on the triple kill. They let McCree loose. He gets the quad, and no, they're not able to complete things out. By all rights, they should have, but it went from Winston keeping it to, uh, too easy back, too easy killing Winston, too easy killing another person, <laughs> killing another person. Welcome to the world of McCree sports. Oh my goodness. You, you just can't let a McCree do that. Oh, McCree. We're all cowboys now. So they do stall them out there towards the end. So this is not a time-based objective now. They have to get it to 70 meters, I believe, is the completion point on this map. Whereas... Uh, the previous offensive attempt got it to 69.93 meters. I do like the overtime changes, though. The wick burns faster. Yeah, the overtime changes are good, although the only thing that feels a little bit weird, and I'm pretty sure this happened in the pub, I'm not 100%, but I do believe that if overtime goes on for too long, it just ends at some point, regardless of people are on the point. Like, there's a sort of a hidden yeah, does. look. This no. is going to end if you don't finish a period, and it feels a little bit wonky when it happens it's, now. It's happened to me. It's awful. It really, really does not feel good, because you're still fighting, and you're on the point, and then they're just like, defeat. It's like, but I'm here. I'm fighting. Yeah, like, I'm totally okay with them not giving you extra time if you get off the point. It just ends there. Yeah. Like, that's fine. You got off the point. But if you have someone on the point, it should let you keep the overtime battle going. Yeah, I, that's just, I agree. That sense, but either way, look at the defense here coming out from Choke, a defense that does need to hold them before the 69.93 meter mark on last. It's going to be Chipsa on the Genji, Kissa on the McCree, Ox is going to be on the Winston, Christopher on the Reinhardt, Tazak on the... <clears throat> Zenyatta and Darius going to be on Mercy. Offensively, Zoms is going to flex onto Zarya. Godspeed will, of course, play Zenyatta. Reels is on an offensive. Lucio, Shadowburn is on Genji, Forsaken on D.Va, and Too Easy on McCreezy. Alrighty, so offense now on the way for the side of We United, and... Shadowburn, too easy, going to have a lot to say about it once more. And Shadowburn's Genji play has just been great here today. Uh, getting very consistent value off his Dragon Blades. Always being a force, always charging them up relatively quickly. Showing why he is one of the better Genjis here in the world. But look at this, the offense now deciding to go through the tunnel. Pushing the issue right now. Shadowburn going to the top, has McCree in his sights. Guess it though, takes out too easy in the McCree versus McCree battle. So even though he goes down, he's done the damage he needed to do in checking the other McCree. A Shadowburn though is still going absolutely wild in the backline. Was able to take out the Mercy. There will be no defensive res and... Looking a little bit better for We United right now. Yeah, three kills are only two up now for the defense. It is their McCree, but that's not going to be enough. It's going to be Shadowburn here trying to cut off the reinforcements, but the reinforced path is so long here that they might be smart to just back up. They see that Shadowburn's already there. Where are you going to try to reinforce from? It's going to be tough. I'm going to go in bottom right. But Shadowburn does come in here from the defense as they try and go back in. Shadowburn eats a flashbang, doesn't get punished for it. Here comes the Dragon Blade, Golden Dragon Blade on the right. He takes out two to start this out, make it three. Shadowburn once more slicing and dicing the enemy team. And oh man, uh, that's going to be a full team wipe. And I still feel like there hasn't been the best answer to Shadowburn coming out here from the side of uh, Choke. Just... Maybe McCree should focus on him a little bit more. Maybe Zen should keep him more in line. I, I don't know, but Shellburn, every time he pulls out the Dragon Blade, terrible, terrible things happen to Choke. 
Well, they've got a ton of time to get through here. Shadowburn has been pretty aggressive. He feels very safe because he's got that Zarya behind him with that shield. Of course, he still has to deflect up as well. So take some good, um, get some good vision on the team. Tom's right now uh, at 50% charge, uh, just on the point, keeping things moving forward. Meanwhile, Shadowburn, once more in the back line, just piling on on the Discord orb targets, takes out his counterpart, Genji. And Shadowburn uh, going to have Dragonblade up soon as well as he takes out the Zen. And that's one thing that we've sort of forgotten is that Zenyatta comboing with a backliner is absolutely huge. You mark one target, let the Genji get on the back, and he's going to delete that target for you while building a whole bunch of alts in the process. Yeah, Zenyatta in this meta has been really uh, astounding to watch. It's kind of a thing that even in pub play that he ends up being your shot caller just because that Discord is such an area of focus. Really nice use of the D.Va ult there. D.Va ult does come out. Dragonblade now on the way from Chipsa for the defense, trying to open things up. So it looks a little bit lost in where he wants to go. Gets his head cut right off by Shadowbird from behind. Shadowbird says, this is how you use a Dragonblade. He get knocked right down to four though by Krister. Uh, pretty back and forth right now on the point, but only two members of defense remaining versus three members of We United. We United should be able to get this back, but Godspeed in trouble. Winston right over him is going to win that fight. Discord over no, Zom's right now up against two tanks. Tank fight. Tank fight. It's aided by D.Va here, though, so I think this still will go in favor of We United as even as the defense does start swarming back onto a point. Graviton should be coming to play here in just a moment. Well, how do you kill a D.Va who's got a Zarya helping her? Oh man, too easy comes in for the fall through, does get that fall through. They've gone to a checkpoint and Hex, they have four and a half minutes to get to this last point. Yeah, a ton of time. They also have a Graviton to work with too, as Zombs was just cleaning up that card in the last fight. Be surprising if they don't uh, pull this out, but it is a point that's, you know, favored in the defense in certain areas. They're going to hold up front though. Well, the defense being aggressive, they want force the issue right now. They run right into the offensive ground time, and Shadowburn, very eager to feast right on top of it, gets the double kill. And Hex, he almost has another Dragon Blade up. Yeah, they should not have forced that fight. I don't quite understand it. They are pushing right into ultimates there. I guess they wanted to make sure that they have two areas they could fight up front and then here towards the back line. But I think you just make the defense, or the offense rather, come in, fight in this hallway, which is much more favored for your defensive posture. Oh, uh, oh sound barrier coming out here from the defense. They're gonna push into an offensive sound barrier. Chalburn does not have Dragon Blade to go with it just yet, so they dodge that bullet, but they don't dodge too easy bullet as he takes out Darius. Two kills here from the offense. Shadowburn now has a Dragon Blade at the ready. I can. We should be seeing that coming out here in a moment. And oh, he doesn't even care about the Dragon Blade coming in from Chips. Takes him out during activation. And Hex, barring the Miracle of Miracles, this is going to be it. We United will be moving on to the winner's finals. Shadowburn's Genji's been insane. Really solid. How many Dragon Blades he busts at round four? Five? It was a lot. It definitely gets help too when he's on a meaty target. They get Discord orbed and he builds up so much alt as a result. Right. And Shadowburn, uh, go throw some golden shurikens at the screen and why not? That's one downside to the round system now that we get literally half to play the games that we used to, arguably less at times where we have to end things early. A little bit of a shame, but uh, the play of the games we have seen today been a lot of shadow burn. As he look at that card 19 dragon blade kills, eight dragon blades. Come on, it's a lot of dragon blades. So many dragons. Huh. All right, well, that is we united moving on uh, to our finals. And I'm guessing their opponent is probably already ready. We're gonna confirm here, and if so, we will not be taking a break. We're gonna keep soldiering on as we're going uh, right now, so one second as we figure this out. Yeah, let me just reload my bracket. That is the winner's finals, of course. We do have a lower bracket in progress as well. They're, uh, no, they, they have not been figured out yet. It is Bringo's fighting Evox right now. Um, I'm not sure where that game stands. We can get our admins in there. Well, in that case, we will just have to join that game, Hex. We'll have to crash their party and go from there. Yeah, you're right. Bringos versus Evox, and Bringos, uh, the team formerly known as NG Blue. At least I think we're gonna we're gonna get clarification on that one way or another. And Evox, uh, seemingly a uh, oh, so this is uh, Miker's new team. Miker, who used to be on OW Kings, has left yeah. them. Has joined up with Evo, who used to be on Phase. Right. So it's a play on Ewoks. 
because that's their logo. Their logo is an Ewok. That's awesome. Ewoks were, this is where I'm going to make all sorts of enemies in chat, but Ewoks, one of the greatest things added to the Star Wars universe. I mean, people may hate on them, but look, they actually had style, unlike a certain creature added in Star Wars Episode One. That's all I'm going to say about that. Completely agree. Um, I loved Ewoks. I had an Ewok doll as a child, a stuffed animal, I suppose, would be the better way to say it, uh, that I had for a very long time. I might still have somewhere in storage. It was Wicket. He had the little thing on him. Um, Battle of Endor, great movie. Big fan of the Ewoks. So Evox.